All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in with a quick update video for tonight, uh, Thursday, December 24th, Christmas Eve 2020 is the date, 9.13 p.m. West Coast time, and taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe. Quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity ramping up following that 6.3 out here near the Philippines. This was originally a 6.5, downgraded to 6.2, and then upgraded to a 6.3. So a <laughs> whole lot of bouncing around. Of course, that's typical of uh, these larger quakes um, and any quake for that matter. A little bit, little bit of activity further downstream from that 6.3 as well. We're seeing some deep movement south of the Fiji Islands area right there. You can see those uh, rings raised off the globe. There's some pretty deep earthquake activity. Of course, this was prior uh, the majority of this was prior to that 6.3. Uh, some pretty deep ones there. 637 kilometers at least for that 4.2. Uh, the 4.6 right now being the latest earthquake on the globe. Uh, just continuing there with that deep earthquake activity uh, to the south and to the uh, northwest of Fiji Islands there. The 6.3 kind of struck in an area where we haven't seen a whole lot of movement over the past couple weeks. It's been relatively quiet. I mean, we can go back the last seven days or so. And uh, aside from that earthquake up there around the Taiwan area, this specific area, uh, although it doesn't look like it on the globe, was relatively quiet when it comes to uh, uh, releasing potential energy up there in this section of the world. Uh, so yeah, a lot of deep movement going on uh, over here to the Pacific or the uh, North American plate. Check it out. Pretty quiet, right? We always see this happen. It's just it's just a given bouncing back and forth here when it's quiet over here in the north american plate here along with the pacific plate it's always always almost always active over here on this section of the globe and vice versa when this area is quiet that's when we see the risk for uh, earthquake activity on along the west coast and the north american uh, continent up here with the pacific plate not a whole lot of movement there Definitely a whole lot of movement though in Puerto Rico over the last 24 hours you can see that large cluster of uh, flags there so in order to see more of it, uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in to the uh, USGS map here and point out Puerto Rico, uh, check out their activity. This is just a 2.5 and above. We're looking at about 39 earthquakes or so. Largest earthquake within that sequence of quakes there, a 4.8. Uh, that was shortly uh, followed up there by a 4.7 and many other magnitudes there. A whole bunch of earthquakes there in the uh, all magnitudes department clustered in a pretty good cluster out here just south of Puerto Rico about two miles or so just right offshore here in a linear fashion some deeper movement going on there too uh, I'm not for sure if this is along the uh, the trench area or not I mean it kind of looks like it's inland but it's not really uh, there's a Puerto Rico trench up here uh, this here is the uh, was that Moret Moretos trough and that's kind of away from there as well so we're kind of looking at, uh, uh, you know, kind of an oddball area uh, for earthquake activity, but it has been ongoing for quite some time today, really ramping up. Uh, this here is the, uh, quite a bit. I haven't seen it this much in an uptick in quite some time here. The Puerto Rico Trench is a is an area to watch for some major movement, uh, but since there's not a whole lot of activity up there right now, we won't really talk about it that uh, some some big earthquakes have taken place up here in this area. It's a major region for uh, or region for some major quakes up there. But uh, as far as this activity, uh, it's hard to say exactly what's going on out here. It's just kind of a swarm. It's been swarming for months on end. Um, it comes and goes. Um, there's always a potential for a larger quake out here, I believe. The plate dynamics, though. Um, you know, it's kind of a kind of a 50-50 chance there of potentially seeing a larger quake within that region. Uh, like I said, I'd be more concerned if we've seen a, a swarm of activity here north of Puerto Rico. Uh, but this activity to the south here, uh, uh, just kind of odd. Kind of watching it. Uh, like I said, going back, we could go back uh, 30 days, 2.5 and above. You can see the, you know, the cluster of quakes taking place out there. Some up here around the trench as well. But uh, more recently, it's pretty quiet uh, with the majority of earthquake activity confined here just to the southwest of Puerto Rico. And 
Yeah, it's it's spread out, but today it confined to this little area. And um, like I say, it, it comes and goes, and that's it's coming today. Over the last hour or so, it's calmed down. So, uh, you know, just uh, keeping an eye on it, that's for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. Not a whole lot of movement. Um, West Coast, like I said, pretty quiet now that the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire is very active. We're looking at some calm conditions, although this this area, you know, there's earthquakes always taking place along plate plate boundaries, fault systems, you know, microquakes. Uh, so this this area is never ever not active. We're always seeing earthquakes, whether they're microquakes, um, you know, like today or otherwise when it's very active out here, twos and threes and whatnot. But uh, uh, Ridgecrest just a little small amount of earthquakes there some microquakes a uh, recent quake up here near Owens Valley a 1.4 uh, really no swarming to report down here that around the Salton Sea area a couple small quakes at the uh, southern shore so southeastern area but really nothing uh, nothing at all I mean it's pretty calm Idaho calm as well only a couple small earthquakes up there um, I mean, yeah, we're looking at uh, just some release of uh, um, potential for earthquakes out here right now. You know, now that the uh, western part is uh, on the uh, target or on the radar, I should say. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, just some small microquakes around Mount St. Helens, a little 0.9 and 0.8, uh, just a few miles from the summit area. No earthquake activity report there in Mount Rainier. A uh, little small quake there on the Seattle fault system once again. And shooting into Alaska. Just some some of, some of your standard microquakes up there that takes place every hour, every day there in that region. But, you know, I, I don't need to point everything out here, but it's very active out here in, the, in this section of the world here. This is where all the activity is taking place, where all the uh, release of energy is taking place at the moment. So still kind of watching this area, especially up around here. Uh, I know we did have that Taiwan quake, but it's still been uh, relatively quiet within this region here. Just to the north of that 6.3. The Big Island still rumbling out there far as Kilauea Volcano goes. Still uh, uh, producing uh, lava flows into the crater area, creating that lava lake, which is still rising. I'm kind of curious to see how long, uh, how long that's going to continue to fill up. Either way, it's pretty cool to watch. Um, you know, there's uh, some videos and photos and whatnot that USGS volcanoes are putting out, and uh, it's pretty cool. You gotta check that out if you get a chance. Some surface quaking going on up here. Uh, looks like a couple twos and whatnot. Some microquakes out there as well. I don't see any uh, more influx of earthquakes or any type of magma movement below, uh, which you know, obviously earthquake activity down way down there would indicate that. I'm not seeing that. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of the activity diminish within this area, but the lava still flows at the moment. A couple threes up here to the north of this area that we've been seeing a large cluster here oh, over the last couple weeks or so. Um, and this here is kind of deeper movement around 33 kilometers or so below the surface. Other than that, uh, for the most part, the Big Island and the chain out there looks relatively quiet. And far as the specifics on the, uh, uh, let's see here, active volcanoes of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Let's see if I can get them to pull up. I don't know, kind of slow. Something, something going on. Are they active tonight? Yeah, they are. There they go, Kilauea. Kind of slow there right now. Let's check out Yellowstone real quick while that's loading. I'm not for sure what's going on. Uh, whoa, what's going on? I just checked this map out. Holy moly. I, I haven't even looked at this tonight. And uh, wow, that's a swarm going on there at uh, Yellowstone National Park there. Around Purple Mountain, Madison River, Mary Lake area shown some significant uh, swarming going on. Check that out. Wow. 
That's a good cluster of quakes there, folks. Um, huh. Isn't that crazy? For the most part, surface quaking along the uh, North American plate, pretty quiet. Uh, at least as far as the West Coast goes. But then we hit inland in the Intermountain West, and we're seeing a significant swarm going on. Um, I don't believe the USGS... Well, of course not. Not on this map, but let's go ahead and check the all magnitudes. It does take them a little while to update any type of earthquake activity there in the park. There is none at the moment, but there is no doubt a significant swarm going on there in Yellowstone National Park. And it, to me, it looks kind of centered around the Mary Lake area. Purple Mountain, Madison River showing the earthquake activity, but not as significantly and well-defined uh, far as the signatures of these, these earthquakes go. Um, there's easily probably 50, maybe 50 to, ooh man, 100 earthquakes or so just within this time frame here, just within this uh, past few hours. Looks like the last hour or so, it's hard to say there, there's still some small earthquake activity, even, even these little small little spikes there where the finger is, are, are microquakes. These are not, of course, the uh, these ones right here are not huge earthquakes, probably under 2.0 or 2.2 and below. Um, but that's definitely a, a pretty good size swarm there, folks. We'll keep an eye on it. I do have a, uh, uh, I think I got a Canyon, Canyon Yellowstone uh, seismograph station picked up here. And I'm not exactly for sure where that's at on this specific area. But uh, I'd like to be able to pull up a Mary Lake station. I'll see if I can pull it up here after this update. Uh, just kill away real quick, orange and watch uh, for the uh, volcano volcano status and the aviation code there. Still uh, producing some magma or some lava, I should say. Talks a little bit about the uh, eruption in the new era at the Kilauea Volcano, but uh, everything looks, like I said, about the same, folks, as far as the uh, the status goes with Kilauea right now. So um, I'm going to jump in to get this video uploaded and see if I can't find a uh, different Yellowstone station here. Um, I do have, uh, let's see, I, I did have to redo these stations here because something froze up. I couldn't access the data. Uh, so I added the main stations up here, Parkfield, California, a station there in Puerto Rico. Um, not for sure how you pronounce that, but that's a Puerto Rico station right here. A uh, station there in Japan, and then also uh, Yellowstone here, Canyon, in Yellowstone National Park. Of course, the seismic station, um, well, activity right now, like I said, over the past hour or so, there on the seismographs uh, overview looked somewhat quiet. So if there is a swarm, we'll have to keep an eye on it, see if it does pick up on that station. Uh, British Columbia, Canada station there. Also Solomon Islands and, uh, like I said, Parkfield, California. So a couple of stations keyed up, and if I need to add some more uh, live seismographs in certain areas, then I will go ahead and do that. But for now, we'll keep those uh, main ones keyed up there. All eyes out here along the western part of, <laughs> of the... Uh, Pacific Plate, no doubt. It's pretty uh, pretty active out there. That's for sh I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. We haven't seen it like that in quite a while. Looks like it's back to normal, I would say. But uh, anyway, hope everyone enjoys their Christmas Eve, Christmas Day tomorrow, folks. Uh, so I will wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas uh, for those that do celebrate it. And, um, you know, enjoy your time. Enjoy... Uh, your uh, gatherings with the family. We did our Christmas uh, dinner and Christmas opening presents today, tonight, I should say. And uh, it was pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed it. You know, I, I enjoy spending time with my family. And uh, uh, what do we got there? 3.8 in, uh, in Hawaii. Let's see here. I think that's the one that we already checked out. Yeah. Either way, definitely some increase in activity out there in Hawaii, south of the uh, Kilauea volcano area. So, uh, you know, who knows? Who's to say that uh, this could be uh, 
uh, a sign of some further heightened activity at the volcanoes, not only Kilauea, but other ones um, on the big island. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Have a good night, folks. We'll chat you guys tomorrow, Christmas Day. Stay safe.